Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals. And now we're featuring Udad and Sero Tops Lego Custom. And now for our closer look, take it away, Extinct Bricks. Hey there everyone and we're back for part 2 of our custom Utanosaurus tops over here. So you can see here our finished product, our finished figure I would say, um, with all its glorious colors. <laughs> Amy will be coming back later on for some size comparisons but for now here's our closer look. So the coloration of our um, Odano Ceratops is actually based up from this particular photo over here. I really like the design and how the paleo artist actually rendered our Odano Ceratops. It's really detailed and could be something that would really uh, come up during its time. Alright, so let's have a closer look. So there, this is a pretty simple design to it. It has two, figure, two studs on the back. It has this really bulbous head to it, uh, very similar to how a Nidanoceratops would look like. It has a ball and socket joint on its um, on its neck. Uh, of course, it can move its legs like so. And the tail is pretty much static, similar to most of our Ceratopsians in our LEGO collection. Uh, the coloration here would be uh, a reddish-orange design on the head with some uh, cute details here on, on the frill since it has a really, really small frill. Uh, the Udanoceratops is one of those Ceratopsians that has the smallest frills compared to its head size. Uh, also, um, has some uh, striping details here, but I don't know if you can see here, but it also has uh, small knobs of osteoderms on the back, as you can see here. I was wondering if I can actually put on some quills to it, but since this is already a large Ceratopsian, uh, it might have lost those quills uh, in time so I didn't put them anymore so it has these brown stripes uh, and um, transitioning to a darker almost black stripe on the on the tail it also some has some black details on the uh, beak as well as on the frills of the creature and has this really bright green eyes to it yeah so that's pretty much it for our closer look I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one let's now put go on to our next portion of the video and moving on to size comparisons TV here is back for some size comparisons and comparing it with our Udanosaur tops here and the photo of a comparative uh, study of the Udanosaur tops and a human and you can see that it's almost the same size you know the Udanosaur tops <clears throat> is one of those uh, bigger ceratopsians of its, of its kind or its subspecies and uh, it actually can grow as big as a cow so uh, technically this is just around the same size or just around the right size for it right so let's now compare our Udano ceratops with some of our ceratopsians here on the channel first up we have our Diablo Ceratops and and uh, comparing it with our you know um Udano Ceratops it's almost the same size uh, uh comparing it with with the um Diablo Ceratops over here but you know uh, in terms of height uh, the Diablo Ceratops is much you know much much higher in terms of its back and also the head is much larger as well with with of course expanded frill and horns yeah so this uh, particular uh, Diablo Ceratops is based off from the uh, Beast of the Mesozoic line of Ceratopsians. It's a really colorful one and as you can see here it has rainbow colors in it. <laughs> well, uh, moving on to our next one. This is our um, Styracosaurus. And this is actually based off from the, uh, what do you call that? The Jurassic Park uh, uh, Operation Genesis colors of the um, <clears throat> Styracosaurus, although of course I made some modifications to it to make it more, I guess, uh, more complex in, in terms of design. And uh, here is my latest one of the um, Styracosaurus. It is a more accurate depiction of the Styracosaurus as you can see here. And uh, it's a much cuter color as well. So with shades of colors of greens and also some yellows on it. So, definitely much larger than our Udanoceratops. Another medium-sized Ceratopsian would be this one. And uh, this is also a recolor of my 
uh, previous Casmosaurus. Uh, the, the the first one was, you know, it was good, but uh, there are a lot of improvements that I need to include in it. So, since I'm a big fan of the basal the Mesozoic line of Ceratopsians, I also colored this one based out from that particular um, toy line. And here it is, the Casmosaurus. Look at that frill. It has uh, one of those largest frills ever um, discovered, uh, you know, um, in comparison to its head size. So the Chasmosaurus. Another one would be the Nasutol Ceratops. And here it is. So let's just put this a little bit farther. And definitely, this is a male Nasutol Ceratops based on from the Jurassic World um, line of uh, Nasutoceratops and comparing it in terms of size with our Udanoceratops although this is already the largest of its kind uh, definitely it uh, it's still much smaller than our Nasutoceratops here and one of my favorite uh, Ceratopsian design, designs from the Jurassic World series would be this one this is the um, Sinoceratops. The Sinoceratops is uh, <clears throat> uh, coloration is actually based off from you know, the recent you know or the last uh, Camp Cretaceous series uh, with a bluish design to it. The other one is the the original one, which is the green one, uh, which I which I also have. Uh, this one has uh, you know holes on its frills and a really arching you know arching curve like a tidal wave uh, on its frill so it's a really cool design um, of the start option series all right so definitely much larger and much bulkier than our um, Yodana Saratops and uh, lastly would be a recent you know a creation by uh, EB Toy Universe this is of course the Stego Ceratops and um, I'm really impressed by how this one is actually made so kudos to you Mike for doing such a great job on this uh, particular figure um, it really captures the essence and the overall look of that uh, specific hybrid you know uh, the coloration is spot on and also the details on the figure is also uh, very remarkable you know with the with the exaggerated you know, what do you call these um, spikes on the frill uh, um, three three rows of um, plates on the back and also tagomizers on the um, points of its tail so guys please check out the video on how uh, Mike did this on EB Toy, EB Toy Universe and uh, the full video is there guys so I'm also going to put in the link later on in the description box below so please check it out and uh, yeah so that's it for the video guys um, just 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 to add on probably here is a Lego Triceratops that I have Please focus. There you go. A Lego Triceratops. Um, in comparison to our uh, Udanoceratops, you can see here the size difference between the two is quite remarkable. So uh, you can, there is no actual base figure for for this one. I just made this one as a but 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 if you're interested in you know checking out how I actually made the Udanoceratops, please check out part one of the. Uh, you done a Ceratops um, uh, tutorial. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Let's now proceed with the next portion of the video, which is Extinct Break Space Hero. And we have here all of our um, Ceratopsians here lined up and um, eh, that that I've shown you here on this particular video and if you do have other suggestions of other you know set options that I haven't made here on the channel I don't <laughs> there's just a few more that I need to do but yeah if you do have other suggestions of other set options then please comment down below uh, if you want to see those probably a hybrid or whatever I'll try to do it but um, if that Met, if that would be something interesting and can be placed alongside our uh, you know uh, my collection then definitely I'll do those also um, EB here would like to remind you guys that all that you see here is available in our stick picks playlist but I'll also be making individual 
um, uh, individual links in the description box below so that you don't miss out on anything on our um, lineup of certain options here. Um, Alright, so let's start with our Extinct PC roll call, shall we? So this is our Extinct Pricks versions of the Styracosaurus, our Extinct Pricks version of the Beast of the Mesozoic Casmosaurus, Extinct Pricks version of the Jurassic World, an Asutosaurus, a male one. This is our Extinct Pricks version of the Diablosaurus of um, Beast of the Mesozoic, our Extinct Pricks Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, Sinoceratops and of course Ibito Universe Level 40 Jurassic World the game Stegoceratops and the start to show here of course this is our Extinct Breaks version of the Udanoceratops and um, that's it for the video guys I hope you enjoyed this one please do watch part one of the um, of this video um, if you want to learn how I actually did the um, Udanoceratops and uh, that's it so guys please do if you like my content and you want to see more please uh, consider subscribing to my channel giving it a like and also commenting on some of my videos that would really give the channel a really uh, a, a really big help again thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you on the next bye everyone also, please do not forget to support our other channels, Ibito Universe, The Adventures of Myra and Asher, and Tito Mike's Kitchen. Please watch their videos and support our channel by subscribing, guys. And as we always would say, let your inner dino brick roar!